The best advice I've ever gotten is from one of you guys who said the fastest way to lose ground manners is through letting our horses run out and in to the barn on their own without a halter. And yeah, I think that's true. Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about how to make your dreams come true. Every single day I get hundreds of emails and messages from kids and women asking me how do I get my parents to buy me a horse or how do I get my YouTube channel to take off? Well today I'm going to tell you how I did it and how I think what I did could work for you. But first I'm going to clean up all this horse poop. I honestly believe that my horses think that it is their full-time job to poop in the arena all night long. Poop and pee. Basically, I just watched Sam chase Finn around his stall. Chase him around. Sam needed to spray him with fly spray before we head out to his field and Finn did not like the fly spray. So this is what I observed. I observed Finn. Oh my gosh, you're covered in mud. I observed Finn running around his stall, swishing his tail, shaking his head, running around in a big huge circle like a freak, exactly like he rides in his lessons with poor Sophia. Sam wasn't using his halter. Finn wasn't tied up. Look at how good this, this dude does on a lead rope. And I think what you guys always say about how you're always training your horse, even when you're not training your horse. And we do so many things without Finn being tied up. Without him having the halter on. Without the lead rope. And Finn, we can't control him. And so he does what he wants. And then when we want to control him, we can't because he's used to doing what he wants. Yeah, that's true, Finn. You're a rebel. Getting into trouble. You are kind of like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable. Why would you ever eat healthy food if you didn't have to? Why would you ever brush your teeth if you didn't have to? Why would you ever get up at 7 a.m. If, if you weren't told to do it? Why would you ever let somebody ride you with a bit in your mouth if you didn't feel like you had to? So yeah, I think that we are training Finn wrong. Like we need to get our control and by doing that we need to not do the easy way, the lazy way. We need to put his halter on and his lead rope on and teach him that when we want him to do something he doesn't have a choice. So we're going to go back to the beginning with Finn and we're not going to take the easy way out. We're going to start putting his halter on, putting his lead rope on. I think we need to start doing this with all of our horses and asserting our control again. Operation Get Finn Under Control starts now. When I'm with you, I go all in to lose or win. Real things have to knock him down. It's the way we keep our high moving like a hurricane. There will come a time for when we can wash away your sins. Settle down, but until then, we're like Willow didn't shake. They always shake unless they have like colic symptoms. But she's eating and she's drinking. She didn't shake. You don't care what people say, people say, people say. I'm going crazy for you, baby. Don't know how you're making me feel this way. What can I say? That's what I like about you. So 
Good morning, Lazy Bones. I love your outfit. Let's do outfit of the day. Outfit of the day, Gabby. This is not coffee, Gabby, but loving it. Gray and purple. Love it. Did you wear that color already this week? What? Did you wear that color already? What saddle pad would you match with that? You're wearing Stella's? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you wearing Stella's? You're riding Stella? Are we shipping out? Oh, is it Thursday? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then, then yes. I forgot that it was lesson day and I'm riding Stella at the barn. So we're shipping her. Not shipping her. We're trailering her to our other barn. And we're going to see if Stella will be good at shows this year, huh? English or West? English. Oh yeah, that's the big garden. That's the stage. one that's been there for a long time. It's huge. That's the big garden. Every day I walk over that step and I look down there. I know. It's huge. It's huge. Look along here. Let me grab him. Okay. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, he's up the oh, oh my god. god. He's a huge one. He is huge. We There's need to move. Entrances. Yeah, she has to take me. Oh my god. Oh my no. god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I ran away. Oh my gosh, you're just crazy. He's gonna bite you like a little bit of like. Yeah, well I want you to live. Some of you guys might have noticed that Sophie's balance is super good lately. And I think it's because of this ball. She bought it at a yard sale and she plays and sits on it 24-7, don't you? I think it's working, so I sat on your ball this morning. Cool. Cool. Today is the last day of school for many people where we live. And sort of for us too. But because we're homeschooled, we always kind of do things a little differently. Summer days are long, really long. And we do chores in the morning every single day. And I like to keep my kids kind of in a routine. And we lose so much of our education over the summer. So as a part of our homeschool, we do summer school. And basically it's so simple. My kids um, have a, fo a summer folder and basically it involves copy work. Gabby is going to be doing um, next week starting copy work from The Hobbit, The Hobbit book. It's just plain simple copy work. She's also going to be doing um, a times table sheet. So they'll do one time table sheet every week. We do this just to get in the habit of memorizing our times tables. Sophie is going to be doing um, fairy tale copy sheets. Those are long. Those are long. Sucks, doesn't it? I'm not doing this. You are doing that one. In fact, that's the one you're going to do first now. So Fiona has a rule, and Brandon, if you say no to something, they make you do it more, or they make you do it uh, worse. So definitely you're going to do that big one first now. Another thing that I do is I spend like all my summer getting curriculum for next year. Yeah, like that's, ha that's what happens when you homeschool. It's not like you just get to sit there and do nothing. I have to plan everything that we're going to study. I, I try and incorporate everything that they would learn if they were in school. One of my favorite sites to use is Teachers Pay Teachers. I'm going to show you guys how it works. Teachers Pay Teachers. And this is mostly teachers that um, put their work on this site. So I go here and I pick grade seven for Gabby and it gives me all these options of things that I can buy. So let's pick one. Um, let's say I wanted to teach them about poetry. This one's, oh, this one's free. This is Poems Made Easy. It's for grades three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and homeschool and homeschool kids. So basically I just pay and I automatically I download it to my computer and then I print off all the pages and I get really good stuff on the site like I access all these teachers that make incredible um, things this is one of them this is for grades three to eight and it's all about poems and so it'll tell you exactly how to teach it it'll give samples and it has all the stuff that you need 
we're going to be doing a lot of interactive notebooks and it is a really cool thing. It's like taking all the work that you want them to learn and making it tactile and them having to use their hands, cutting, pasting, um, before they write down all the information to, it teaches organization. It's like a really fun way to learn. And we're going to be doing a lot of our subjects in that, especially our language. So today we are hauling Stella in to have a lesson on her. So we're taking Finn and Stella and we are going to learn, um, we're going to figure out if Stella is a good candidate for shows. Every day when we go to feed the mares, we bring the geldings in because there's not a shelter up there and standing on a hill in the hot sun is just a lot, especially for a storm who's black, but the horses are already sweating. So I washed Gabby's show pad last night. You know what that means. Next week is show week. Two shows next weekend, a weekend from this weekend, but we have extra fun plans this weekend too. Storm. Gabby, yeah, you're gonna have to uh, groom your boy. I know, he's really sweating. Is your boy sweating? We sprayed them with bug spray. He wants to be an Appaloosa. Appaloosa storm. Why is he sweating like that? That's weird. Is it weird? See, you guys who think we don't know enough to have four horses. We don't really know enough to have four horses, <laughs> but we are learning and we don't do anything without our trainer. So I'm going to check and see. Oh, he's sweating. This guy's sweating too. We've got to spray them with bug spray. So I just explained to Sophie our new rule. Okay. So the new rule is that anytime we do anything with Finn, we put his halter on because we can't make him do what we want unless we have control of him. So from now on, Whatever you need for him to do, he gets the halter on. I'm riding you, baby. I'm riding, riding you, baby. You make him mad. Oh, so I'm going to have to do like, make him whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He's still scared. Yeah, he doesn't like being sprayed, but he is a lot better at it when he is on a lead rope because he can't really sure. rebel. And this morning I watched your dad chase him all around the... Okay, that's good. Do his back and the other side. Sophie, that was a lot of spray. I am so in love with this little lead line saddle. I just need to get her some... Um, Stir up. Oh. Baby pad. I need a half pad with it. No. She maybe only needs a half pad. Some people ride with just a half pad. Yeah, which is horrible. Why? Because. Because it's a half pad. I mean, some people ride with just a baby pad. Gabby's got a baby pad that matches her outfit or the color that she wants. And it's just a little tiny bit thinner than a regular saddle pad. Let me see it. No, it's like half as thin. Mom, as a really saddle pad. Yeah, it's not thick. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin. I think that's fine. Bring two just in case, and we'll let Fiona have Mom, the decision. Is it still a word? Yeah, is it? I hate when lead ropes break. That's Where annoying. I'm gonna put this thing that we got from Tough One in the trailer, so we always have it. This thing that you can use to tie your, uh, like a no-knot picket line kit. So I'm gonna put it in our trailer, bring it with us. 
I'm a little bit nervous with Stella because she's off her pain medications for the first time in a really long time. And I'm kind of like nervous to see how she goes without them. All right, Stella, you're coming. Finny, I hope you're happy. Hi. He's been unhappy. He does not like the bugs. He does not like the sun. Storm, you're not eating. Storm. He's not used to being left alone. No, Storm and Willow alone in the hood. Storm already attacked Willow. Oh, no. Hopefully this helps them be friends. But Storm is by the doorway. I told Willow to go since she was gonna run out. At least she has a tree. And then she ran. nervous about today bringing Stella her being off her medication but I knew everything was gonna be okay because I look for signs looking for signs is like the universe or God telling you where you need to go and what direction to take so that is my advice for you if you want something in life whether it is to clean up your finances or um, get a horse or get a farm or get a boyfriend then what I would do is I would go to bed at night I would close my eyes and I would dream it I would think of it I would plan it I would look for signs and keep your eyes open for God to show you which direction to go God is always talking you just have to be open to the answers so good luck good luck to all of you like I said dream it believe it imagine it and hopefully all your dreams are gonna come true Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.